we're going to go over how to fish the new charter grade dog walker. This is a six inch topwater spook style hard bait with excellent walk the dog action. We've engineered this one to be tuna grade that's through wired and they're pre-rigged with a heavy duty VMC treble and large inline single hook on the rear. Now with these you can work them on anywhere from medium inshore tackle. We're down here in the Everglades and, and have some larger tarpon around so I'm using a heavy outfit. The bait weighs close to two ounces so it's suitable for casting on heavy tackle or that mid-range inshore tackle. So with all walk the dog style hard baits you're going to use a twitch pause retrieve to get that bait to swim side to side. The desired action is going to be this wide swinging motion with it and you're going to do that by tapping your rod tip up here in about the 11 o'clock position. Just tap it side to side. Now I'm using about a six inch motion with the rod tip. It's not real aggressive and you're just kind of working the slack allowing that line to go slack for just a moment and then picking it up with the rod tip to get that bait to swim side to side. Now it's excellent for imitating kind of a wandering bait fish, whether it's a pogey, a mullet, herring. It's a real classic action. Just keep the rod tip up. Twitch, 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 twitch. You could pause it. Let it sit, the bait's gonna sit mostly horizontal, just at a slight angle down, and then continue popping it. And that's going to give you that excellent side-to-side -side action. So some scenarios where you're going to want to use the dog walker topwater is in slicked out conditions like this. It has a subtle action. This bait does have some internal rattles, and that also adds for weighting for casting distance. As it moves side-to-side, -side, you're just going to get a real low frequency click as it moves. So it's not an aggressive rattling action, but it's just enough to naturally imitate the movement of a fish up on top. They're ideal for fishing in these calm water situations. They're also good for a light chop. Just working that rod tip, these short three to four inch twitches. It's a nice side to side action on that bait. Now for rigging tips on the dog walker, it's recommended to use a rigid knot. With a lot of our jigs and soft baits, we always recommend tying a loop knot for a free swinging action. Now the dog walker relies on slack line imparted by your rod tip to get the bait to swing side to side. So if you use a loop knot, you're actually reducing the tension and it'll reduce the amount of side to side action you're able to get. So we like to recommend using a rigid knot. Right here I just have a jam knot, uh, but your traditional fisherman's knot, cinch knot, are all ideal. That creates a rigid connection and that way it's going to impart all that rod movement and the slack that you're putting in it to get that bait swinging side to side. It's a very important tip. If you tie a loop knot to this bait and try to swing it, you may notice that the side to side motion gets a little more irregular and hard to control. So an additional tip for fishing the dog walker is to utilize a heavier leader. That added stiffness is going to help impart the side to side action as you work the rod with the rod tip slack in that twitching motion. Generally we're going to recommend 40 to 60 pound test. It's great for larger species like big stripers, tuna, tarpon like we have down here in the Everglades. But don't be afraid to fish it on your lighter tackle outfits with 20 and 30 pound. You may just need to work that slack just a little bit further and that would be using a longer rod tip twitch going instead of that three to four inch to more of a five to six inch twitch to get that bait to get that nice side to side action. Mm -hmm.